The class I had this morning was a fifth year maths group. They're a mixed ability class. They're studying at the ordinary level and within that there's a range of abilities. Today we were doing applied arithmetic so we mainly focused on income tax and universal social charge and how it's calculated. We also did some VAT and some financial maths. Most of those topics that we did today were on the junior cycle syllabus for higher level and ordinary level so I had a class that they were mixed in junior junior cycle, some of them did higher level, some of them did ordinary level, so I wanted to get a sense of where they were at, what their prior knowledge was, and how much attention and focus I needed to give to each of the topics that I covered. Socrative is a free online assessment tool that can be used by teachers. Students can log in and they can do assessments online and the teacher gets real-time feedback on the performance of the students, so you can see what difficulties they're having in any particular question. The fact that they're using their phones means that we can get started into the activity quicker. They're familiar with their own device, there's no log on time, we don't have to send someone down to the computer room to get laptops, we don't have to keep a set of tablets or Chromebooks anywhere. In general, when you set up Socrative, you're on the activity, the students are engaging with it within five minutes of taking their phones out. Using a tool like Socrative as opposed to the more traditional methods allows me to instantly know at the end of the lesson where the students are at. Instead of previously, you might have had to set 20 tests take them up, correct them individually, and you don't get the same sense for each particular question what the difficulties are, whereas Socrative is able to break it down topic by topic, question by question, and you can immediately address and see the issues that the students are having. Like today, there was a question where only 25% of them got it correct, so I'm able to look at that and see immediately, rather than have to wait a few days to correct them, the feedback is instant, and the children get the feedback as well, and they love it. It included VAT at 21%. How much VAT did she pay? At the end of the lesson today, it was clear from the assessment that question seven posed a lot of difficulties for the students. So I did out question seven in the board and I talked them through it step by step. I addressed the common mistakes that they were having in that particular question. A lot of them were doing one particular thing that they shouldn't have been doing. So I was able to see that that was a common mistake and address it and explain why that wasn't the correct way to approach the question. I find the students' engagement when we're using Socrative to be greater. Regularly they come in and ask, can we use Socrative today? They never come in and ask, can we have a test? And that is, that is the buy-in that you get by using a slightly different assessment model. Um, there is a time and place for the traditional forms of assessment, but to do something different like that, uh, I find the students really enjoy it. I enjoy it, it, it decreases my workload, and the students really enjoy the fact that they can use technology and that they can get the results of their work um, in a quicker fashion. I'm allowed to download the information as a spreadsheet at the end of the exercise and I can then save that onto my computer and I have that record permanently. So it allows me to track their progress through the year. The question that caused a little bit of difficulty today in the class, I went through it quickly at the end but if some of the students didn't quite understand it, I was able to create a, a video on Show Me. It only took a minute and I can then upload the video that I created onto the blog and it's there for the students then to look at if they need to see it again. The classroom management is very much down to the individual teacher. We have some basic rules when we have, we have the phones out. Generally they keep them on the desk and they're only allowed to have the app that they're using open. No other windows are allowed to be opened. Really, it's, it's a matter of trust, I think, between the teacher and the student. Um, there are groups maybe teachers might not feel comfortable doing it with, but I think if you do it, and it's for the purposes of assessment, the students will enjoy it, and I think that they themselves will take a bit of ownership of it, and it allows them to use their phone then for something that is beneficial to them. The advice I would give to someone if they haven't used Socrative yet is to give it a go, take the plunge. It doesn't require any level of technical expertise, it's free, it's very user friendly. If you use it once with maybe a group that you're comfortable with, you will see the benefits in terms of assessment, in terms of the students' engagement, in terms of their interest, and you will find that it is quite easy to do tests, it's very quick. It also saves you time in terms of paperwork because it generates the reports online and you can save them to your computer, so that's an extra saving in terms of time. So we all like to reduce the amount of time we have to spend on administration, so that is definitely another plus of Socrative. It really helped the teaching and learning in the last few months. The students are more engaged and it helps with, I suppose, a very positive classroom atmosphere.